Hello everybody, today is a very special day. We are going to do a little crafting here at Good Shepherd. In preparation for Advent, uh, we are going to prepare wreaths that you can make at home to celebrate weekly along with us. I have a table full of supplies and I've got some samples that you can see. You can go to Michael's or any of your craft stores. You can head to your basements and find lots of these supplies right in your own homes. I am going to be using artificial greens today and it came as a bundle like this. Uh, this is a pretty scaled back version but you can, you can get uh, wreaths that are already pre-made and we can go right down to making your own. I learned how to make wreaths back in the old days here at Good Shepherd and uh, the foundational piece was a hanger. This is a metal hanger that you use. Uh, there's nothing unusual or fancy about it. You use a little bit of muscle and our goal is to come up with a round circle that looks like this. And I've taken the, the curly end and sort of manipulated it so that nobody gets scratched or cut and I'm going to wire it down and this is what I'm going to attach our garland to. Um, I'll just do a little bit of it just to show you. You start just by moving your hands around and wherever there's a pre-established curve, you just muscle it that way until you get a nice rounded shape. lay it down because this wreath is going to be laying flat um, that is something you'll want to be considering what surface your wreath will be sitting on but you do want this to be pretty flush so that's pretty good once you do that then you start to take the loop part and you want to sort of conceal it I'm kind of turning it uh, you can also use different tools wrenches pliers whatever allows you to get a little bit more strength. What I've done is I've cut a piece of wire. I have floral wire. You can also use, I have some little hook wires. This is very fine gauge. I also have some floral tape. So there's lots of different tools that you can use and resources, different that'll get the same job done. At this point in time, I'm taking this wire just to anchor my hook. And I'm going to leave some out there as I start to attach the greens. This pliers happens to be a needle nose and there's a wire cutter on the inside. Uh, very helpful. The next step will be to anchor the greens around the wire. I'm going to wrap it at least a couple times just to get it stable. Once I get it done, I just take the two ends that overlap. And this particular one has some tape that's covering the, the wire. So I'm not going to, to get rid of it, but I am going to try to conceal it with the different bows. Once I have that, this wire that I started with is ready to go. And all I'm doing is nice and snugly wrapping it around the green and the closing. And then once I'm close to done, I'm going to just sort of scoot it into an area that seems stable but invisible. All right, so now we have a loosely created circle. And my goal will be to take all of the greens and spread them to the outside. This particular piece of garland feels like each little twig is double wrapped. So I think I can twist it around like this to make it a little bit more stable and interesting. 
But as you can see, if I focus on the greens coming out, it will become more full looking. And you can see it's starting to look a little fuller. Again, if you purchase garland or you use real boughs, you would take a wire and you would just wrap it up snugly as you go around. I'm taking advantage of each of these boughs and wrapping it all the way around the metal hanger so there's no worry about something being loose. And every once in a while, if you give two branches that you're working on, if you don't have, if you want different lengths, you can just sort of take two and twist them amongst each other. I'm just going to twist it like that. So there is no right or wrong. See how it's filling out and it's starting to look nice and even? So you will see it looks pretty. And these are all wire filled, so you can manipulate them as you go if something gets a little bit out of touch or you find out once it's filled with other things, there's a hole. You can just pick this one and just rearrange it a little bit. Okay. All right, so this is the basic. Now it's time to embellish. And you will see as the close-up shows, I've got lots of samples. I wouldn't put all of these things on one wreath, but you can see that there's lots of sparkly things and different types of ribbons. Again, this is going to work with whatever you have in your household and whatever your personality and your taste um, are. You can make this very special. Maybe your kids have some special things that they would like to add to make it their very own. Uh, this one I'm just going to make with stars. And I'm going to sort of just spread them out evenly. And it happens that I have six of these guys. So go like that. One little sprig of blueberries. The way this works, a lot of times these wires are very user friendly. You just kind of put it in and then twist it so that it's stable. Make sure you put the wire somewhere in where it will not and then you can just sort of leave them. A lot of times these are called picks, these little decoration things. And sometimes it's easier, the wire is just stiff enough if you don't have real strong fingers, sometimes it's easier to use a tool. You can get it's twisted. And you also need to be a little bit careful that the inside of where the wire attaches to the picks, they do come up, so you have to be somewhat careful. So you can see as they add on, and if you have one that flops like that, that's a good place to go back and reconnect it to something, maybe wrap it around one of the greens. I don't want to fill this up too full with this because I am going to add a little bit of ribbon to just create a little bit more blue. And the reason I want blue is because Advent, the season of Advent, is represented with the color blue. Okay, 
So very simple. There's not a lot of action, but already you can see that just a little bit of color goes a long way. Makes our very simple little wreath look very festive. Okay, so this is about all I have. So I can do different things with this. I could wrap this all the way around, or I could make this go a little bit farther. And I need a scissors. Pretty much. So I'm just going to make. it's just enough and then I'm going to take my and anchor it just like I did with the other things. And when you use the little ornament hooks, the wire is very light gauge so it's very easy to work and you can see how that little piece looks very festive. See, I'm not being very careful. I'm not measuring. And I like it when I don't have to be real specific, but they're going to be colorful and special regardless what size they are. The process will be the same for Okay, we'll get it. somebody who really likes symmetry you might want to take that time to sort of figure out the perfect placement I might have to redo this a little bit the next thing we're going to talk about is candles this is the most special part about the advent wreath is lighting a candle each week and you can use lots of different options uh, we have tea lights and votive cups. Uh, we even have pre-purchased candelabra that we use in the dam guard room that uh, could sit in the very center and that can be purchased at, uh, at the Christian bookstore. Another option is to have a tall glass and fill it with water and just put a couple floaters in there and then that is also for tea. All right, we're at the final stage of our wreath. And I just have a couple different samples of candles that you can use. Uh, this is pre-purchased and really nice. It lifts things up so you can see that, uh, that all of the candles are individually lit. And as you know, we light one candle per week. Just as a sample, you can use votives with tea lights in them, and they can just sit in there loosely. Uh, you can use the taller tapers if that's what you have at home, or the battery-operated candles. These would hold large ones, and again, you can see there's plenty of room inside this size wreath. So, there you go. Hope you have fun making this. If you would send your sample to us, we would love to see what you create. Happy Advent.